Oh, baby. Mr. Lowe's. We're on, back, man? brother. Good to be back. Another episode. Vlocker yeah. and talk. So, today. Oh, nice burp. Good start. Good start. So, last time you came on, we, uh, we did some bathroom talking because yeah. you had quite the story for quite us. Quite the experience. So, uh, I figured we'd just toss it back, right back into the bathroom and uh, just doing stuff i asked some questions on instagram right. about people so i'll give them to you uh we'll just see kind of where it goes i guess perfect, you know perfect, see perfect. see what kind of guy you are in the bathroom i mean right. everyone already knows that i'm like a freak in the bathroom and <laughs> so it's whatever we'll get the bro code bathroom rules going absolutely so all right we'll start off with some bro code right. bro code um talk a little bit i guess so when you go up to the urinal right mm-hmm. and people stand right next to you yeah you, that's just a no. That's a no. If there, I mean, if it's a, if there's two urinals, no other option. True. If it's like if there's four urinals, three of them are open. I'm pissing in one. You come next to me. There's pro. It's, there's no problems, but it's like, what are you doing? Right. What are you doing? It's I don't so like weird. It. It's a little, it's just awkward. Dude, it's so awkward because like, I, th- first off whoever likes to be that close to people in, in the first place basically especially but then when especially when you're in the bathroom and you're just like whipping it out yeah come on dude there's so much room go over there like why what are you trying to look at me the Sp- worst is if they give you a little side eye if they give you a little look to <laughs> yeah. the face that I, I can't deal with that i can't deal with that no i just try to zone in finish what i gotta do and get out that's the worst <laughs> have you ever had someone talk to you when you're at the urinal yes it I, the only I've exception is if you're at like a bar or a club because that's when some of the yeah. funniest stuff happens when you're pissing like in a bathroom in the club yeah. and then next thing you know like this whole conversation starts to get going but if it's like if you're at like a restaurant like a mcdonald's like you don't want you don't want conversation when you're at the urinal you got to be no. like you have you have to be drunk and at a bar yeah. That's my exception. Absolutely. Because first off, you're drunk. So you're going to talk about literally yeah. anything to anybody. And then everyone's in the bathroom already. So yeah. it's like, I just got to find my spot to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yo, what's up, bro? You know? <laughs> no, I agree. I agree. And yeah, you're right. It gets crazy. They start talking about whatever. Yeah, no. There's some uh, Poncho's bathrooms. Tight in there. It's tight in Poncho's bathroom. I don't think I've ever been in there. It's tight. And there's usually a lot of people in there. But it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. But if it was just, if everyone was dead sober, it'd be really weird. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. It is because when we went to Florida, we went to Fort Lauderdale, same mm-hmm. thing. Bathroom's always packed, pretty tight. Everyone's in there. Yeah. And then what they have down there a lot too that I had never really experienced was people in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Like there's a guy, there's a guy in there at the at this one club that we yeah. went to and he was selling like cigs and stuff in inside the bathroom. the bathroom just right when you like you turn in, take a left piss at the urinal whatever the stalls are over there <laughs> then by the sinks right before you leave yeah. there's a guy sitting there and he had all kinds of stuff he had snacks whatever cigs literally anything the coolest thing i've ever seen was there was a i was at this restaurant i forget it was like kind of a fancier restaurant i think it was in florida it was like a little guy with some cologne That's he had like fresh. some cologne and you just go over he like spray some on you put them on and it'd be kind of dapper coming out but that's cigarettes a little too a little too much. No, yeah. That's basic. convenient, I guess. True. Depending on, the, on True. the circumstance and where you're at. Yeah. Well, you know, everyone likes a drunk sig. Yeah, here and that's there, true. So. That's true. That's true. Definitely would have to be drunk for that guy to be in the bathroom. Absolutely. That's <laughs> kind of like, and snacks too. Pretty weird. Like, do I really want to yeah, eat where I shit? That's exactly. No. You don't want to eat where no. you shit. That's never good. Never. Am I going to shit where I eat? No. No. It goes you gotta both be dire ways. circumstances oh, for that to happen. Yeah, the only time you you'd really ever eat hungry. where you shit would maybe be in the bedroom, you know, eating a little cheeks. That's true. <laughs> then, That's then, true. You, then you eat where That's you shit. That's a little shit. play on words but right that, there. That was something, right? <laughs> that was glad. That, that, that could be, I mean, just yeah, doing it at the same time right there. Yeah. That, I don't know, whatever. No, I like it. Play on the words right there. So... On the topic of shit, we yeah. were talking about that. One question that was asked was, do you look at it after you take a shit? And I can confidently answer this one very fast and say, absolutely. I yeah. love to look at my prize after, yeah. basically, you know? You got to give at least a peek. Even if you know it's nothing special, you got to at least give it a peek. Yeah. But, like, there's times, like, when we lived in, in Narragansett with Anthony and them, like... 
you get on the toilet 10 seconds in, you'd be yelling because you're like, this is going to be, this is going to be prize. Like this is going to be gold. So you're already yelling at people downstairs in the house, like, like get ready. I, Anthony and myself, I can confidently say we've seen each other's shit because some of them, I've, I've seen a couple of his, I won't go into detail because I don't want like <laughs> viewers to throw up, but like just you'll never get out of your mind but i'm glad i saw it i'm glad yeah. i saw it but it's, it is it's like your little prize once you're done that's a weird part like someone hits up the group chat sends a picture of their massive dump they just took yeah and i'm like you know what did i love seeing that not no. at all but am i glad i saw it absolutely yeah. i didn't hate seeing it i didn't <laughs> hate seeing it even if i don't like it i didn't hate seeing it but when we were in narragansett funny story we were the house was like about to be bought or whatever. They were like switching over landlords. And Anthony was shitting in the bathroom. And he's in there for like 20, 30 minutes. The kid's a mess in the bathroom, like hemorrhoid central. So I'm sitting in there. I'm downstairs. The, they're walking around upstairs. And I kept going over to him and just opening the door and leaving over. He was getting so mad at me, but he couldn't yell. Because the landlord, the future landlord's upstairs. <laughs> so I just kept the door open. It, it funny. It in the moment, it was really funny. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, that was another... I saw something today. I was looking through just stuff about the bathroom, whatever, and yeah. I saw this. And it was it was on Reddit, and someone said, am I the only one that locks a bathroom when I'm at home alone going to the bathroom? And I my fast answer was yes, absolutely. Yeah. Because when I'm home alone, yeah. I'm, I'm going to the bathroom with the door open. I don't even care. Yeah. I do it when people are home in the first place. Yeah. So it's like, why would I ever lock the door if I'm alone? You know, weirdly... I do out of habit because mine's not like a in my bathroom at home. It's not. It's just like the little push one. Mm -hmm. So like, hey, I'm not home a lot, home alone a lot. So when I am home alone, I guess instinctively I kind of do it. Today I showered with the door open though. So I guess I'm getting more used to it. There we but go. I can't. Usually when I'm home alone, I guess I still lock the bathroom. Okay. I don't know why. I don't. When I'm at home. I think home? it's just instinct. Probably. When I'm at home, I never lock the door when I go to the bathroom. Really? Ever. Not once. But living at school with everybody, I yeah. lock the door when I went to the bathroom. Yeah. Or pretty much anywhere in public, I lock yeah. the door when I go to the bathroom. But just at home, I never, ever lock the door when I go to the bathroom. Yeah. In Narragansett, it was a it was a must to lock the door while you were in the shower. Because I, whenever Anthony would shower, if I was, like, mad at him... I would just go in there, turn the fan off, and just start taking a shit. And he would get so mad at me because he would start <laughs> flinging water at me. He'd start yelling. It's just, the heat does not help the smell of a shit when someone else is in there. No. So that's definitely lock if the other people there, no one's home, keep it. I guess yeah. even if people are home. If you're home, home. Like, yeah, you're home, you grew up in, yeah, keep it open. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Um, so you're at home, right? Yeah. You're going to the bathroom. Say you just have to go in and pee. Mm -hmm. You washing your hands? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm eating a lot. I'm always True. eating. Out. Uh, yeah. I, I'm always washing my hands. See, I, I, I mean, guess I'm definitely you not. I've definitely not <laughs> oh, at yeah. home. But I say majority of the time I do. Fair enough. Um, yeah, when I'm at home, I mean, I don't really wash my hands. I'm not going to lie. I'm yeah. not going to sit here and lie it's to everybody. It's not a must. It's, it's not a must. I pee, and I just, like, toss them under some water. Call okay. it Okay. I that, don't actually, like, soap up after I pee. Right, yeah, I'm not. That's unnecessary. One, Am I really that dirty? I'm not 15 Mississippi counting these things <laughs> right. underneath the water. I'm, I'm, it's in and out. It's in and out. Yeah. A little bit of soap, in and out. Yeah. If there's no soap. Tough luck. It's, it's what it has to be. It I'm not going searching around different no. bathrooms with no. soap. So when you go and when you go and wash your hands, yeah. do you go soap then water, just yeah. wash it, or do you go water, soap, water? Just soap and water. Really? Too, too much time between the water, soap, and water. Fair enough. Like I feel like two seconds of going water that add that up for every time you wash your hands. It's like it's a lot of time. You're you got a good point. Down. Just go bam, bam. Absolutely. Yeah. That's smart. I always go water. I don't know what it is, but I just got to wet the hands a little bit, if, pump the soap on there, and then you're if good. If it's a little motion thing, yeah, yeah I'm going I'm gonna check okay. it. I'm going to check it, get a little water, then I'm going soap. Okay. Home, though, if it's just a little, I'm going. 
and then just water. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A okay. method. You got to have a method with each, with each circumstance. Clearly. Yeah. Smart man. I like it. Yeah. So, uh, I forgot to, well, doesn't matter. We're just on the bathroom. I'm just yeah. going all over yeah, the place, yeah, yeah, all yeah. over the bathroom. Someone asked us, mm-hmm. and maybe I'll ask you some of the questions that I asked Vinny mm-hmm. earlier on in the, yeah. when I first started the podcast. But yeah. one of this is, how do you wipe? I said it was st- sitting standing, um, but this question is, do you wipe front to back or back to front? Like, and I go... Front to back. Front to back would be from behind. Like, it would be like... It'd be like down and up. Because back, back to front, back would to be, front would be almost would like be a f- down this way. You'd have to go so you'd, underneath. Yeah, you'd come like this. Yeah, or you go like this. Yeah, I, I go front to back. Yeah, me too. Yeah, around the side, front to back. Yeah, yeah. Just a little right. No, cheek. there's people that go, you know, underneath, back to front. Women, right? Well, yeah, but I know guys that do too. Wow. Well, I know, I know one guy. That's Vinny? it. I only know one guy. No, you have to say his name, but no, from school. Okay, all right. You wouldn't, you'd you'd be surprised. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I'll tell you after. Okay, okay. But it's wild. Um, Yeah, that's just uncomfortable. All right, here's the thing. It's always right cheek up, right? I stand. Okay. All right, so here's (laughs) my thing. I don't think I've ever in my life raised my left cheek to wipe my butt. Don't think I've ever done it. I think it's only, like, thinking about it now. Yeah, because then you got to go left hand. Yeah. I'm trying that later. <laughs> I'm going to try that to see how bad this wipe's going to be going left-handed. Standing up, though, is like a... I stand up. I always... I stay seated for the first couple. Sometimes, if it's a okay. messy situation, we're going to stand up. Uh, that's when you know it's yeah. getting dirty. Yeah. I just always do. I don't know why I've always had to have it. I mean, it's kind of weird. I mostly do it. I think I do it most of the time. If not all, I get ripped for standing up by everybody. Really? Yeah. Is it know. like is it you just go straight to stand up? Oh yeah. Really? I just pop right up, and everyone's like, "Oh, you smush it together when you stand up." That's yeah. And I was like, you know, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, but but I think I don't know. I don't know. It's got to be more comfortable standing. Yeah. I, I, not really. Sometimes really? because like say you destroy legs the day before or something, or you're deadlifting and a- your back's nice and sore, and you get up and you got to hunch over, and then you're sitting there wiping for twenty minutes. It's not a good time. That's the thing. If if your legs are sore, that little motion of sitting up ain't gonna feel good. No, I'd rather just get up to a standing position if my legs are sore and just get it done that way. It's deadly. Also, wet wipes are essential. Oh, yeah. I think we talked about this the first time. Can't go anywhere without them. They're so money. I think I brought them to a house party once. (laughs) I literally think I did. I think I had a stomach ache and I brought them to a house party. That's amazing. I don't think I I didn't use them, though. Uh, They're literally the best way to do it. They are. And then you finish off with a a dry one. Yeah, have to. Oh, you're so money. Uh, um, I don't think I asked you this question. I'm pretty sure I asked Vinny this one. Yeah. I don't know. I think it was. But um, another urinal question. Do you take your balls out when you pee? Yeah. Have really? To. Have to. Wow. I'm not. I don't even know. Like, do people just whip whip it out? Like, in terms of, like, zippers, like, buttons still buttoned. People do that, yeah. I don't do that. I go whole button off, zipper down, everything's out. Yeah, I go. Except I for go. the nuts. See, I go nuts out. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it depends, I guess, sometimes, yeah. But if I'm in public just trying to get in and out, I'm like just leaving them in. I definitely have <laughs> kept the nuts in, but it's more of a it's a feel thing for me. Yeah. I just feel more comfortable with them okay. out rather than them in. Fair enough. Because, like, God forbid someone does stand up next to me in the urinal. Like, I want to assert my dominance. <laughs> I, got, I got them hanging out. Like, you don't want to. Don't come up next to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, that's Fair how enough. I feel. That's how I feel. I mean, it probably comes out way easier, too, you know? Yeah. Not getting cut off by the yeah, waistband of the belt. Enough. So you got to, like, you got to thumb it. Yeah. So you keep the your waistband off you yeah. so it doesn't cut I'm anything off. I'm not thumbing off. it. I'm yeah. not thumbing it. You're just kind of I mean, there hanging out. If I'm really dressed up, if I'm, like, if I'm in, like, khakis, shirt and tie 
Like then in that case, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try and keep everything as yeah that's in true. the suit as possible rather than whipping everything out. That's smart man. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. But you just said funny you said this asserting your dominance at the yeah. urinal right you got your nuts out yeah. you're saying fuck you buddy yeah. come look at this when you're at the urinal mm-hmm. some guy comes next to you not right next to you we'll yeah. say he's a he's a gentleman and he goes yeah. one over and you hear him going to the bathroom right your stream you ever just like push it out a little bit harder yeah. so I was just you assert say, your dominance don't be coming up next to me yeah. with a little piddle <laughs> pad on the toilet i don't want to hear raindrops <laughs> if you're gonna come up next to me in a urinal it's gonna be a battle it's gonna be it's gonna be i want to like i want to have to step back another centimeter an inch just so it's not it's not hitting me it's yeah. gonna, I'm I'm going. I'm trying to I'm trying to make him know. I'm trying to let him know. You picked the wrong guy. You picked the wrong guy. Have to. You have to. You do. You can't go up next to him with a little, little weak stream. No. You can't. No. Not at all. Makes you look bad. Makes your family look bad. Yeah. Can't be having it. No. And it's also like I'm there. Say you walk in, mm-hmm. and you got you guys basically just walk into the bathroom together. Yeah. Guys right behind you. Guys right in front of you. You both go to the urinal. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do everything in my power to stand there for longer than that yeah. man. Yeah. There's no shot 100%. I'm leaving before yeah. you because I, I drink, drink like a little bit. You. I drink more water than you. I'm more hydrated. <laughs> exactly. You it's better just like, sit there and hold that pee for night. Everything's a game, seconds. dude. It it's is. A, like I know I'm I'm better than you. I'm yeah. gonna pee longer than you. Oh, and 100%. it's so stupid. One hundred percent. But it's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah. It's a thing. Literally. No. Yeah. And uh, in the stalls too. You mm-hmm. know I. I think it's a competition sometimes because I swear at work. First off, people just camp out in there. Oh, yeah. Um, And, you know, some of the times... Well, I guess I'll start with this question first Mm. and then I'll ask the next question. Yeah. So you go into the stall in a public place like that. Do you bring headphones with you? No. I mean, if I'm, like, at the gym and I have my AirPods with me and it's, like, a dire situation, I... A, my thing is I'm avoiding public restrooms at all costs, except for peeing. I don't care about pissing in a mm-hmm. public restroom. I'm avoiding taking a shit at all costs at a public restroom. So I'm not going in there with the headphones <laughs> and, the, and the picnic basket. I'm going, I'm in and out. I'm in and out of there. I'm even, sometimes, I'm, I might lay some toilet paper down on, on the seat if, it's, oh, if yeah. it's bad. I used to do that all yeah. the time. I mean, I still do it all the yeah. time. But yeah, yeah, that's the money move right there. Yeah, you, have you have to have because to. you don't know. Little kids come in and they'll shit all over the room yeah, or something. No. You don't. I don't. You don't know what's on there. No. And not that I'm a big germaphobe, but it's just like it's like you don't want to be shit. You know, I got to do that. Yeah. Well, so I used to never pub- go to the public. Yeah. I never used to shit in a public bathroom. Yep. That's how I'm gonna say. It. That's yeah. how you say it. Same. Because I can't speak English, but never used to. And then I went on this trip sophomore year mm-hmm. um, to, I think it was like Pennsylvania, DC. Uh, we went all over mm-hmm. the place. Went to a few baseball games, amusement parks and stuff like that. And we stayed at this little campground. Yeah. We had this little cabin that we all slept <laughs> in. And the only bathroom was this, obviously, public bathroom yeah. at the campsite. That was disgusting. Ooh. And I had to go so bad. I held it for days. And I was yeah. like, you know what? I literally need to get this out of me. So that was pretty much when I got over my fear of shitting in public bathrooms because I just let it loose. And I was like, you know what? This isn't too bad. I have actually a very... Now thinking about it, I have a very funny story about... <laughs> so I may have told you this just off camera, but we were hanging out with these girls in Narragansett. And Anthony and I, like, we slept there or whatever, did our thing. Yeah, did our thing, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, I got a shit. And, like, I'm laying in this bed with this girl, and I'm like, bathroom's, like, right outside. But I'm like, I know it's not a public bathroom, but, like, I got Anthony, this girl, like, right next door. This girl right here. I'm like, I'll wake the house up. Like, I'm not <laughs> I'm not waking the house up. So, like, it was, like, 6.15 in the morning. I'm, I'm like, I can't go to sleep. I'm like, I'm moving around. I'm like, All right, I got to get up. So I get up, I go sit in the living room. And Anthony, the next day, he's like, dude, I heard this person like walking around in the house. I'm like, yeah, that was me. So I'm just like walking around at like 6.30 in the morning. Can't sleep, got a shit. So I'm just sitting there like head in my hands, like like we got to go. So I'm just waiting for Anthony to wake up. And that kid's a rock, so he's not getting up. It's like 8.15 or whatever. And they're like, they all get up. I'm like, let's go. So I get my bag ready to go, and we're about to leave. Backstory on that. The day before, 
like when we were before we were drinking that night, Anthony and I went to Cumberland Farms for lunch and had Kit Kats, powdered donuts, and coffee for lunch. Dinner we had two burgers each, probably undercooked as hell. <laughs> yeah. And then drank Natty Lights, uh Svedka, Pink Whitney, and Malibu. Not even trying to act like it was a lot of alcohol. It was just like one shot of each of those and just like some natty lights. So I'm kind of a lightweight. But still, like four four or five different shots of alcohol. And I was like, all right. So I'm like, bet. Anthony got up. I'm like, all right, let's leave. Let's leave. They're like, no, let's let's go to Starbucks. So I'm like, Anthony's like, yeah, we'll go to Starbucks. I'm trying to like hint at him. I'm like, dude, let's go. So we get in the car and we leave. We leave. And you can go left. Starbucks is like five eight minutes away they went right it's like a 20 minute drive jake i'm sitting in the back of the seat like praying i'm thinking of things in my head to say to them in case it just starts <laughs> smelling like shit like i'm thinking of things like and then i was like i'm just gonna have to tell them to pull over and just like i'll get an uber or something we'll go home we get to the starbucks i'm like think it's been 20 minutes i've been i was like i texted anthony and he was like cracking up in the back like making jokes or whatever and we get to Starbucks, 20 cars in line. So I'm like, I'm like, all right, guys, I got to go pee. Take Anthony's mask. I go in there, walk through the exit, get yelled at, go into the bathroom. 10 seconds, 15 seconds, done. Wash my hands, out. Walk back in. They genuinely thought I peed. <laughs> that's how bad I had to shit. I thought I was going to shit in this girl's car. That's so bad. It was, that's why I hate like, I like pooping at home, shitting at home at all costs, but that resorted to a Starbucks. Yeah. Yeah. Have to. Yeah. Some, those, those are the worst. I know what you're talking about. And I didn't even, like, for the longest time, mm. I wouldn't even shit at Alyssa's house. Yeah. I This was before we were dating, and I'd feel so bad because you, the night after drinking, you get the shits. And I was like, I can't because God forbid one of her roommates or even her gets up and goes to the bathroom the after thing. me. And it's going to be like, I, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. What smells that bad because yeah. that's how it is. And it's yeah. never solid, no. uh, just a clean no. shit. It's disgusting. If you got their house, you're drinking. Yeah. Can't be having that the next so day. Gross. Vinny camps out in those damn bathrooms. Oh, I do now. I own that <laughs> place now. But it takes a while. Yeah. It takes a while. It takes mm-hmm. a while. Have you ever not the dude? I'm just firing off these yeah. questions. So same thing. Kind of. Um, have you ever gone have you ever taken a shit with someone in the bathroom with you? Yeah. I I think I did for the first time this year. Elsa just came in the bathroom with me. We're at their house. Darty. I was yep. like, I have to go to the bathroom. She just followed me in there, was I don't doing something in the thing. And I was like, mm-hmm. you know, I hope it's not one of those where it smells really bad. Yeah. Because you like if you know it smells bad, yeah. then it's probably ten times worse <laughs> than the other person. Because you don't really you don't really get the full smell of it. No. The other person's gonna get the full smell oh, yeah. of it. Because A, you're somewhat used to it. And then I, I've never shit in there with a girl in there. Like I've pissed with it, you know, in the bathroom with girls in there and stuff. But with Anthony, it was like literally whenever he showered, I made it a point to go in there and take a shit just to like <laughs> make his shower absolutely terrible. <laughs> and he that's hated fun. it. That's so good. Oh, that's right. You said that. And it will happen all next year. So Beautiful. yeah, yeah, I'm used to it. That's funny. Uh, what was I? Oh, so I was. I just said, um, you know, it smells. Mm-hmm. when you can really smell it and today i farted at work a few times and it smelled so bad yeah. and i was scared that it was just kind of linger up yep. like you know in spongebob you see the green yeah. odor just go that's what it, it felt like that's what it feels and like. i was scared someone was gonna smell it that's the worst too if it's in a spot like especially work everyone's trying to act professional <laughs> if you're trying to act as professional as possible if you don't really know them because like if you know them like you're friends with them, then it's different. But if it's someone like you're not really friendly with, that's like a terrible, yeah. terrible, terrible thing to have. And it's got to be guys that you're doing it in front oh of a God. girl at work. I'd kill myself. I would. I wouldn't be. I that would ruin my day. Yeah, that be would awful. ruin my day. I didn't even. 
fart in front of Alyssa for the longest time. I oh, like, wouldn't. <laughs> so we were another, like, I might not make it situation. Yeah. I go to her house for the first time. In New York? Yep. Okay. And something was wrong with my stomach for a week. I could not stop going to the bathroom. That's, that's happened to me. It was so... And it wasn't like I need to go to the bathroom. It was... I'm going to cry because my stomach is <laughs> hurt so bad mm. and I need to go to the bathroom. Yeah. It's like when I go to the movies or something and I get popcorn, candy, yeah. and a soda and I come home and I sit on the toilet forever and I literally want to cry because my stomach hurts so bad. Destruction. That's how it felt, but this is like five times a day. Yeah, so sad. I have no idea what's wrong with me. And I'm driving and I was like, oh my God, my stomach's rumbling. It's yeah. making all kinds of noises. <laughs> and I farted in the car. <laughs> <laughs> it was so loud, <laughs> and she thought I ran something over on the Are road. You or yeah, I was That's like, impressive. I, <laughs> "That's impressive." I felt so. I mean, I thought it was funny. I laughed so hard, yeah. and she was like, "I can't believe you just did that." Like, I wasn't I expecting to. it, and I was like, "You know what? Great time to get it out of the way." That's weird because, like, but I feel like everyone goes through that. Like, I don't know if girls go through that too, but I feel like I'll go through a week or like a couple of days where I'm like, my stomach's just in a bad spot yeah like just pain mm-hmm. just pain burger king will do it to you the worst yeah i haven't eaten the last time i ate burger king i i couldn't get off was that the time that me you and anthony got bk that was yeah, the, that, the, the second to last time i ate burger me king. too that's when that time and the last time i ate burger king were like some of the worst experiences of my life it was so bad yeah um so on the topic of uh like that happening hmm. do you like shit every day oh, yeah. because i i read another thing and it said and it was asking people like do they every day and for people that go even a day two days without taking a dump i'm like can't do it dude i would die i'm yeah. minimum two or three a day yeah, no well, problem lock me in for it i wouldn't feel right i you i have once a day is a minimum like a minimum <laughs> It's like, if for me, it's just clockwork in the morning now. <laughs> it's literally just clockwork. Even like last summer when I was working, it was like I would get in. I wouldn't even, I would, I would shit before I left, and then I'd get to work, and it would just, I hadn't even eaten anything after that. I would make sure I ate before I went at home, just clockwork. Second I sat in that chair at work, I was like, all right. It's not. It's time to go. Can't, can't control it. If I had a, even if I had a meeting right then, I'm like, nope. I need to gonna go. Have to, gonna have to miss it at least 15 minutes of it. It's crazy. So, uh, yeah, I don't. The only time I would ever not go to the bathroom in a day is if I'm somewhere. Yeah. If I'm at someone's house or I'm mm-hmm. visiting, I'm like, mm-hmm. I really can't destroy this bathroom. Yeah. I'd feel so bad if yeah. I did that. Um, so, that's the only time. And that is probably when my stomach starts to hurt for a week yeah. because I get so backed up yeah. holding it yeah. in. Because if I'm out, I'm probably eating like trash. Mm-hmm. I'm not. Really taking care of Shit myself at all. Delayed. Probably drinking a little bit. You and then I'm not going to unload the, like, the cargo. Come on now. Exactly. It's not good. Shipments are getting stuck. Uh, shipments aren't going out. You got to get good. the shipments out. Not good at all. So. I agree. For those people, uh, you, you need help. Yeah. I think need that's help. just the way get I see it. fiber in that diet. That is absolutely the way I see it. So. I don't, I have, I have two questions about the shower. Okay. Three, actually, we'll talk about it. Right. This first question we already talked about last time you came on the podcast, yeah. and it was um, jerking in the shower, mm-hmm. way more efficient. Must. So we can just knock this out really yeah. quick. Um, it was in the shower or on the toilet, in the shower, not even close, yeah, not even so close. efficient. Yeah. No, I don't. It's not even a question. No cleanup crew. Boom, done. Answered your question. Out. Done. Getting two things done at once. Um, the next question is a little odd because I don't know who actually does this. Mm-hmm. It was, do you face the shower head or the wall when you take a shower? Yes, I face the shower head sometimes, but if you take an entire shower facing the shower head, I think you're a serial killer. You might be. You know. You just like getting shot in the face, or maybe you're just a little. So here's the thing. Do you have a shower head that moves? Up and down? You, like, yeah, like just yeah, down. Yeah. Up. See, my thing is, I'll mostly stare at the shower head. Really? Yeah. I mean, obviously, if I'm getting my back and stuff, like I'm going, but like yeah. I'll just I'll just push it down. 
Wow. I don't take long showers, though. It's like in and Neither out. do I. But I just, I hop in. I face the other way. I get in. Boom. Shampoo. Done. Tilt the head back. Really? Yeah. You tilt the head back. Yeah. I tilt the head forward. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess it depends sometimes, but 95% of the time, I'm tilting my head back. See, mine's 100%. Because I don't like, because then I feel like I'm just like, either way, soap's going to get in my face. So True. I just, I put that thing up and I just... It just, I just close my eyes for eight seconds till all the soap's gone. Fair enough. Yeah. The only time I turn around and face the shower head is when I wash my face, okay. which you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to wash really? your face in the shower. Yeah, I don't know why, but I don't. I no, wash I, my face in the no, shower. That makes sense. Um, you're also not supposed to let the water hit your face. You're supposed to like cup it in your hand. And, really? Yeah. I don't know. Just what I've heard from i don't know before probably youtube or something take these in I'll but yeah these that is the only the time i ever face the shower head i've never taken a what shower you jerk off oh no see when i do that then i actually move the shower head sideways really? so it hits the wall and it just kind of comes down <laughs> so that but then i'm actually facing the shower head at that point because yep. i want to get as close, close to, the to the drain, drain as, as possible, possible. Yep. because god forbid you let it fly in the middle of the shower on the other side I then it's like up. i don't know what to do with that and then you got to kind of maybe use your feet to yeah, scrape it back exactly. and i'm like you know exactly i'm it's not doing gross, that. that's so. why wow. i just push it far down as possible Mine goes, mine goes far down. Yep. So now I'm just trying to aim for where the mm. water is hitting near the drain, okay. and it just see just cleaned up. Mine doesn't go down far enough where I could, I could look at my phone mm-hmm. and take care of business really? because it would just shoot me. I I'd try and get so close to the drain that yeah. it comes out like where I exactly I would stand, so yeah. it would just shoot me in the face or hit my phone. Really? Yeah, and it would drive me nuts because it only it comes down to like right here. Maybe yeah, it doesn't mine, go all the way mine's down. Mine's going like down. That's nice. If I have to, I'll hit the phone up here. Oh, like that. okay, okay. Right. That's true. I could do that. I never yeah. thought about that. But then, do I want to be getting sprayed in the dick the whole time? Yeah, not really. No, no definitely don't want that. Yeah. Then. Absolutely not. <laughs> all right. So, I mean, there's the there's the answer for that. Yeah. Uh, so shower. That's that's pretty crazy. I didn't know you. Yeah. You face it. I don't have now to try I'm it. thinking about it. Most of the time, I'm I'm facing towards the shower. Wow. Maybe I'm the weird. It's definitely me. That's the weird one because mm-hmm. I do all this weird bathroom stuff. So it's definitely well, now, everyone's gonna now, be like now. Well, now, well, since you have the idea in your head that you shouldn't have the water hit you in the face, because now I'm thinking about it. I'm just getting buried in water when i'm in there like it's just i'm just i'm eating water basically <laughs> i mean there. it probably goes both ways it's probably not good for your back either if you have like back knee yeah. i get it a little bit and it's yeah. probably not good for it maybe um but hey who knows and then this other question was do you pull your butt hair while you're in the shower i don't touch my butt hair buddy i don't see i don't really have the hairiest butt in the first place um, There's definitely some hair. Though. Oh, there is. Yeah. Uh, could I twirl it? Yeah, a yeah. little bit. Um, I wouldn't. Do I do it in the shower? Not really. Outside of the shower, fair game probably. Really. For just sticking your hands. I dude, I I just randomly stick my hands in my pants a lot. Oh me too. You too. I, I know you just, do. But mine's the front thing. <laughs> I just I don't know what it is either. Like, it's just comfortable. Yeah. Like in the winter, warm. Oh my god, it's warm. so nice in the winter. A little hot. It's like a little. Uh, what's it called? The little um, hand warmer. Little hand warmer. <laughs> yeah. It's a little hand. It's a little nut warmer. Yeah, exactly. But no, I don't. I don't touch my butt. Cause then I'm like, I'll go up to like what, like rub my nose, and I'm like, I gotta go throw up. Like this, I mean, is, this isn't good. True, but you keep your hands on your nuts and then rub your nose, That's so it <laughs> goes back and forth, you know. <laughs> That's what, and then you go to wipe your nose, and you're like, "Wow, I got a shot. That stink." That's funny. Anthony actually paid me five dollars one time to smell his underwear <laughs> where his nutty sack were, and I'm not even joking. I obviously took it. Yeah. I'm gonna, I still can't get. It, I could taste it. I could <laughs> taste it. I could <laughs> taste it. It was the it was the most disgusting thing I ever smelled in my life. That's Two days nasty. and they were like compression <laughs> compression underwear. Two days they were light blue. It was like a dark blue splotch where the nuts were. Yeah, and you he he's I think he worked out on him once too. Oh my god, yeah, that's 
That's disgusting. Yeah. I mean, should have been like 20 bucks. To be fair, I've been there before, like playing football. Mm-hmm. You have your girdle and everything, yeah. and that gets nasty. That smells terrible. It's like you don't want to smell it, but it's almost like, how bad could it smell? <laughs> right? Like, how bad could it really smell? Like it's yeah. gonna last a couple seconds. Do I like? Do I wake up in a cold sweat sometimes and <laughs> at the middle of the night thinking about it? Yeah, but like, it's the love of the game, right there. Right. Yeah. That's like smelling shoes. Sometimes you can kind of smell. Someone's like, oh, smell my shoes. Or you smell your own shoes or your socks. And I'm like, how bad can this really be? Like, I have to really yeah. get down there and see how bad it smells. And then it's a, oh, yep. All right. Yeah, that smells see, terrible. Do you even smell your shoes? Because, like, at home, I mean, my shoes are in the garage because my parents, like, cannot handle the smell of my shoes. But I don't smell. I do not smell them. If... I can smell my shoes, my socks, <laughs> my feet. One of like all three of those it has to be. Uh, it has to be disgusting. It has to be putrid. <laughs> but no, I don't go out of my way to smell them. But sometimes I'm like, you know, you get a good workout in, the feet get sweaty. Oh yeah. And I just know, I take my shoes off. It's gonna. It smells. Yeah. I, but I don't. Really, I still don't. Even after. But I really don't smell. Even after a workout, I'm not really smelling it. But then like. No, my rarely. dad will start like throwing up when he walks <laughs> into the hallway because they're just sitting out there. I mean, it all depends on the person, but rarely I don't have smelly feet. My brother yeah. does; he has awful like See, I don't his have, shoes smell terrible. I don't have smelly feet. It's just the accumulation of sweat mm. in the shoes that's, that's just not good. Yeah, it doesn't smell great. Yeah. Maybe you need some new insoles or something. Oh, I just need some new shoes. Uh, that would probably solve the <laughs> job, you know. <laughs> Yeah, no, I got those. These white vans I have are getting yellow at this point. Oh, that's nasty. I've been cleaning them too, but so the last thing mm-hmm. I probably want to touch. I mean, we can keep going. I don't. Rip whatever. More. Um, but I have to. I have to tell you this mm-hmm. because I saw it today at work, and I was like, I need to talk yeah. about this on the podcast. And I was sending emails today just mm-hmm. about stuff, checking on stuff, and one of the guys that name came up. Mm-hmm. Was Mike Hunt? Mike Hunt. <laughs> Mike Hunt. Like, Mike Hunt. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, okay. And I was like, dude, that sucks. That That's is one of the worst name. names I've ever That's heard. Not a good name. It's almost like the ones that people make up. I actually didn't think it was real for a second. That one's. That's like the um. They do SN. They did an SNL one like that. It was like a Pete Davidson was like a firefighter. Yeah. And they were saying names. That is a name. That might have been on that skit. That's that bad of a name. That poor bastard. Mike Hunt. <laughs> that's so. I thought you were saying something about Sam. So that's why at first I'm like, no. is that his dad or something? I'm like, Mike Hunt. <laughs> yeah. Because now it doesn't even matter the way you say it. It just comes out Mike Hunt. You can literally say Mike Hunt, or you can say Mike Hunt. Literally. It's the same thing. You really have to, you see this guy it's in public, really you really got to have that. Mike Hunt. Really enunciate yeah. the H in there. That's bad. That's so, really bad. I just had to touch on that real quick Mike because Hunt. that is the worst thing I've ever heard. Mike Hunt. It's got to be. Like, I don't even. I don't even know anyone with a name like. Like I can't even think of someone's name that I know that's that's bad like that. No, I don't know an actual person that has a name like that. Mm-hmm. That's bad. But. I'm going to toss this in real quick right. because I need to, and I don't feel like doing it after. Yeah. So the Olympics, Euros, baseball, major championships, and concerts are all in this summer. You know what isn't? A wild and hairy bush. Tame your pubes with the help from our friends at Manscaped, the leaders in below-the-waist grooming. Their fourth-generation performance package includes the brand-new Lawnmower 4.0. If an athlete treats their body like royalty, why not treat your pubes like Olympic gold? Fellas, do right by your balls and join the 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with the code LRT. No one likes hurting their nuts. When they go down to trim, not pleasant. We've all been there and cut it before. So that's why Manscaped's here to help and eliminate that problem. The world is starting to open the performance package 4.0 from Manscaped. What? 
uh, whatever, that didn't look like it made sense, is here to help you get ready. Inside, you'll find the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker, ear and nose hair trimmer, crop preserver, ball deodorant, crop reviver toner, plus two free gifts, performance package, boxer briefs, and the shed travel bag. Talk about a world-class dismount into a post-quarantine world. This package is the perfect package for your package, and peak performance is whatever sport you desire. In whatever sport you desire. I can't read. The brand new Lawnmower 4.0 is here to take the podium. This fourth generation trimmer features a, a cutting syringe, cutting edge, I can't speak today, ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. The Lawnmower 4.0 has a 7,000 RPM motor, a new multifunction on off switch, can engage a travel lock, and gives you the ability to turn the 4000K. LED spotlight on and off when needed for a more precise shave. Did I mention this trimmer is waterproof too? Michael Phelps is drooling just thinking about the possibilities. This package also comes with the weed whacker to chop your worst weeds up in top both your ear and nose. This tool is a lock to take home the gold in the biathlon. The weed whacker is also waterproof and uses a 9,000 RPM motor powered 360 degree uh, degree <laughs> rotary tool blade system. This nose and ear hair trimmer provides proprietary skin safe technology, which helps prevent nicks, snags, and tugs in those delicate holes. After trimming your pubes, show them some sportsmanship with Manscaped's liquid formulations. The crop preserver, ball deodorant, and crop reviver ball toner are the key to feeling victorious this year. Manscaped also threw in two free gifts in their performance package 4.0 the Manscaped boxers and travel shed bag. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code LRTM manscaped.com that's 20 percent off and free shipping with the code lrt at manscaped.com achieve pubic glory this year with manscaped all right now that i'm done not being able to read we'll get back into the i gotta say the underwear is electric oh my god the underwear is so nice like i people probably just think i'm putting this in there just to get whatever out of this but no their products are actually so good and their underwear i wear all the time it's so nice i'm like all right for me it's like just for clothes in general like i kind of have like you got that number one shirt that you love you got those number one pants that you love to wear oh yeah though like and this isn't even trying to hype them up you just said it those underwear that's my number one that's the ones i got on are my number twos right now but like if they're if they're clean i almost like i'm saving them for saturday right i'm saving them for saturday I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the material. I don't know if it's, like, the way they're designed. They're, like, just, like, little angels' hands just covering them down there. Anthony said the same thing, too, when he got them. They're so nice. Yeah. Um, so you're a big briefs guy, right? Yeah. Me, too. I can't wear boxers. I don't know what it is. It's just, I don't, I don't like everything just hanging down there. You know what I right. mean? Especially if I'm wearing, like, if you're wearing jeans and you're wearing boxers, like, get out. Get out. Get out. You're, just, like... Your sight, like there's just too much room for friction. Like I like it, ni- everything nice and compact. A n- nice pair of briefs, you can't beat them, right. and they look better. Oh yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Like I already got enough things in my life that are already loose and falling yeah. apart. I might as well keep yeah. my nuts in place and have them I not hate, fall apart. I hate boxers. I used to love boxers. I don't like them anymore. I no, I still I wear them, but it's got to be like with a baggy pair of shorts, and I'm just like chilling at home. Yeah. I'm not at that the, point, I wouldn't even wear boxers. anything. I'm not exactly. Yeah. I see. I don't like going commando. Don't. Neither I don't do I. like it. I mean, I don't hate it, but it's I'll not my do favorite. it. Yeah. If I have to. Yeah. Like I'm backed up on laundry. I'll do <laughs> it. But I, I'd rather just walk around in my underwear than yeah. walk around in shorts. Oh, me too. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it's just it's. Great. I work in underwear. That's all. I, working remotely, I literally just work in my underwear. That's so nice. Fan on. Just working in my I'm underwear. jealous, man. I'm jealous. Yeah. I don't even put a shirt on. Must Socks, be nice. Pants. God. The life you live, dude. Yeah. Well, it'll end shortly. It's going to end shortly. Hey. Whatever. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. Bigger and better things. Bigger and better things, baby. That's Absolutely. Um, so we'll, just, we'll end with this. Yeah. We'll talk a little bit. So Perfect. this guy wants to start a podcast, right? Yeah. Let's get into it. Give yourself a little shout out, a little something. something. Why not? All right. So. Looking at you guys, any uh, any soccer fans that like hearing about European soccer, any any anything to do with soccer in Europe, big tournament stuff like that. If you like hearing a little discussion, which is like me, I love like when I'm at home, if I'm eating, 
I, I have to have AirPods in. I'm always listening to whether it's sports debates or just people talking about sports. So, like, if you're someone who likes to listen to that, tune in in a couple of weeks when it's uh when it's up and running. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll I'll toss it, I'll shout you out a little bit. That's Absolutely. What I'm talking about. That's what you get for coming on yeah, here. That's what you get. That's Beautiful. My, that's my that's my price right there. Baby. Love it. So uh, check my man out right here. Okay. I'll I'll put everything out once yeah. you actually start it. Yeah. But for now, I think that's gonna wrap this episode up. Perfect. Uh, so all you out there watching, you better like, subscribe. If you're on podcast listening, just maybe leave me a review. If you hate it, hit a little thumbs up. If you're watching, it yeah, something. why not? Toss yeah. one out for the boys, huh? Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Uh, so thanks for coming out, big guy. No problem, man. Appreciate it. Had a good time, like yeah. always. Perfect. All right, looking, uh, for, looking for number three now. Oh, me too. I'm ready to go. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.